and welcome to Commercial Failure. And you know what I love? Commercials for products that capitalize on what adults think kids think adults think kids want. Yeah. Blanket buddy, blanket buddy, it's a blanket, a backpack, and a pillow too. Say hello to the blanket buddy. First of all, it's not the blanket buddy. That would have actually been fairly decent. This is the blanket buddy, a name so stupid I'm convinced it must have been the end result of a committee. Blanket buddy, blanket buddy, your child's best friend and a friend to you. I think it's a pretty sad state when your child's best friend is a stuffed animal. Unless they're Calvin and Hobbes. Introducing Blanket Buddy, the amazing space saver that magically transforms into a blanket, backpack, pillow, and plush animal. Yeah, that's not magic, that's folding. If you think that's impressive, maybe origami artists should be burned as witches. For must-have products in one. Yes, because a stuffed animal is such an essential everyday requirement. I remember when the military made them general issue for Marines. Uniform, M16A4, teddy bear. Makes perfect sense to me. Going anywhere with kids can be challenging, especially when you have to pack toys, blankets, pillows, and more. This is the face of a child who knows he's the nigga in charge. <laughs> he's like, yeah, pack these toys up. I'm taking them with me. What are you going to do about it, bitch? In just a few zips and pulls, it's back to a functional backpack, ready to take anywhere. I think functional is probably the most underwhelming adjective you can give to something. It's not exceptional, it's not great, it's not even necessarily adequate. It's just functional. And on another note, if you turn it into a blanket, where do you put all the stuff that was inside of it? Blanket Buddy includes a water repellent inner bag that holds the child's belongings. Oh, okay, so let me get this straight. You put all the child's junk in a bag, which you could have easily carried on its own, and you put that inside of a bulky stuffed animal. How does this save space again? This entire concept is just completely misguided. It tries to fix the problem of having to carry too much stuff with your kid by making it easier to carry too much stuff with your kid. That's like buying new clothes to fix the problem that your old clothes are dirty. Your children will want to carry their own belongings in their new blanket, buddy. The next generation in children's on-the-go gear. Holy shit, did she put chloroform in that blanket or something? Yeah, watch the kid's face. Alert. Slowly calming down. Satisfied look from the mom. And fast asleep. And she probably told me we were going to Disneyland. Why, she's gonna wake up at the dentist. Oh no, it's worse, it's the California public school! It's machine washable and comes in three plush animals. The ladybug, panda, and monkey. Those are some awfully random animals for something like this. What's wrong with a bear or a rabbit? No, instead let's go with a sexually ambiguous arthropod, a worthless evolutionary dead end, and something that's known for making a weapon out of its own feces. Do you really want your product associated with shit? And it makes an adorable diaper bag. Ugh. Named Best Vacation Product by Dr. Toy. You made that name up. And was voted by attendees as Best New Product at the 2011 Travel Goods Show. There's a Travel Goods Association? Travel Goods are a big enough market to have their own association? What's the big breakthrough going to be this year? Tying two ribbons on your suitcase? If you bought a blanket, a pillow, a backpack, and a plush toy separately, it could easily cost you $75 or more. Pfft! <laughs> $75? Who has that kind of money to spend on something for their kid? I can't afford that. I just bought a new car. My old one was dirty. What can I even say about this? This product is dumb. Contrary to what this commercial would have you believe, not all kids are this well behaved. They're not parakeets. You can't just throw a blanket over them and expect them to go to sleep. They're going to get dirty. They're going to get wet. They're going to tear the fabric. They're kids. They're not going to sit there quietly with their hands folded and admire how soft their monkey is. They're going to get bored and start swinging around and break whatever's inside. Making your kid carry their own things is actually sort of a smart idea. It forces them to decide on what they really need to take with them and teaches them some responsibility and discipline. But come on, he's two years old. He has the attention span of a goldfish. He doesn't care what's in his fucking backpack. And even if he did, give him a backpack that'll actually do its job. Something that's going to stay together for longer than a month of daycare. After all, aren't your kids worth giving something that's more than just functional? This is TZ, putting products in their place for you. If you have a commercial failure you'd like to see, visit testzero.net, youtube.com slash dragonslayerprod, or send a message to dragonslayergames at gmail.com. Commercial failure is produced and hosted by Doug Hancocks. All work copyright their respective owners are protected under fair use. Call now!